This is the last part, <coughs> the fourth part actually of the question 1b, so it's part 4 and 3. So what we do is we'll look at the original question. It says give the equations for equations that represent Emma and James journey. Now I've got these equations from the last screen. The last screen looked like this. Okay, so remember we did equations for James, which is this blue line up here. And the equation for this one here, which is the blue line, the green line here. And the red line, which is Emma, which is up here, came out with the equation that looks like this. So what I did was I put my answers on the screen. Okay, Emma for 20 minutes, 0 to 20 has this equation. James for the first 20 minutes has that equation. And together for the last 10 minutes, they have this equation. You can have a look at it and, um, and pause the video if you need to. Right, for the last one, it says describe Emma and James' journey to school, including their speeds and how far Emma Emma's from home. So I started with Emma's as house is 9.16. Now, how do I know that? I know that from the equation, because if you look at the equation here, so it's y equals one third, negative one third x plus 9.16. 9.16 is the y-intercept, which is that one there, which is when Emma is riding to school. Okay, um, and you can have a look at the answers when you get a moment. So let's go back to here. So I've written it here. Or run it out for, and you can write it in any shape or form, but make sure that you answer this question, including their speeds and how far Emma's home is from school. So you need to break it up into the first 20 minutes and the last 30, last 10, sorry, to make it a full 30 minutes overall. Anyway, good luck. It was a difficult question.